So yesterday, uh, there was a, a, a an impossible games in Oslo. Um, I couldn't watch it. I was working yesterday from two to ten. Didn't get home till like twenty to eleven. So um, you know, cause I actually ran home from work. And um, so Ingebrigtsen, um, you know, uh, he beat Ingebrigtsen beat um your man uh Timothy Cherish. And um, am I surprised? No, I'm actually not. You know, um. If they're racing in the same venue, I'd be surprised. But because um, Chariot was racing in um, Kenya in high altitude, like I, I had a feeling that Inge Brixen would win. Um, though I didn't think he'd win by as much, if you know what I mean. So um, uh, anyway, so you know, if if I, I watched highlights of um, you know Inge Brixen towards the end, towards the last like three hundred meters of his two K race, and uh, I, I also saw footage of uh, Chariot in the last three hundred meters of his two K race. And to me, it looked like Cherry was really struggling. Like he looked like he was just, he didn't look his, he didn't look smooth. He didn't look strong at all. Uh, looked like struggle. Um, Inga Brixen looked the opposite. He looked strong, smooth, relaxed. Like whew, he's really willing to kick it, you know. And uh, beat him quite comfortably. Uh, Kenyans were racing in rain. A bit surprising because you know Kenya. I would have thought you know you think you get rain in Oslo and not Kenya, but it was the other way around. You got rain in Kenya and not Oslo. Um, if you know what I mean. So, um, anyway, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, you know, he broke the European record. So he ran 450. The European record was broken by Steve Cram in 1985. And, um, you know, I think they actually started off slow. I think they were like starting off like 59 second lap pace. I didn't see the whole race. That's just what I heard, um, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, program. So on, on the video. So yeah, to run, 450 very good time you know i was thinking that i think he, i was thinking he might break the european record but i think the world record is a little bit out of his reach um maybe if he had better pacemakers uh who could set off a faster pace maybe he'd get closer to it uh i don't know it's hard to tell exactly how fit ingebrigtsen is uh did he really push himself was it like um a positive split race uh i don't know so yeah, um, you know, so Inge Brixen started the 2020 season quite well uh, with 2K European record. Um, you know, so, you know, fair play to Jakob. He, you know, he's progressing well. And um, other there are other races as well uh, going on. Um, uh, but, yeah, personally, I think it's a bit of ridiculous having the Kenyans race in Kenya at high altitude while the people in Oslo race at low altitude. Like, it's just a joke, in my opinion. Um, you know, you have to be racing at, on, the, on the same track, on the same track you know, in the same race, otherwise it's very hard to compare, uh, if you know what I mean, because, you know, obviously it's harder to breathe when you're racing at a high altitude place like uh, Nairobi.